I will show you how I was traveling 8 hours via Italy. I went through Italy because there are no direct flights coming to Korea in Malta. I traveled with 8 hours of waiting time. In Europe, this way of passing is common, so you will definitely help. First of all, I arrived at Leonardo da Vinci Airport. I will go alone from Fiumicino and look at the Colosseum. The fastest way is to get on the Leonardo Express train. It will be arrived to Rome Terminal Station in 35 minutes. This is a very good tip that you should remember the name of Fiumicino Airport. When you buy a train ticket to return to the airport from Terminal Station and an automatic dispenser, Leonardo da Vinci Airport is now available because it comes out to search for only Fiumicino Airport. I didn't know this, so I had to wait a long time at the ticket office. Now, if you pass by three stations by subway, you will arrive at Colosseum Station. You can see the Colosseum as soon as you go outside. Everything goes better on a full stomach. I had to eat pasta because here is Italy. I start on the Colosseum on foot and pass by Foro Romano and the Artier della Patria to the Venezia Square. Then I go to the Pantheon and final destination is the Trey Fountain and come back to Colosseum Station again. It's a Colosseum of familiar photo composition. When I saw the Colosseum in front of my eyes, it was bigger and more magnificent than I thought. In the crowds, there were people who selling water for 1 euro and selling selfie sticks. Next to it is the Arch of Constantine. On the other side is the Palatine Hill. There is an integration ticket to go to the Colosseum, the Palatine Hill, and the Foro Romano. I'm waiting a long time to go in the Colosseum, but they couldn't bring in the jam and honey. Because I heard jam and honey in Malta are famous, so I had. This is for a Romano remains of the glory of the Roman Empire. I often could see people spraying art on the street. It was surprised that this wonderful work came out with spray. But I had to leave immediately. Because the smell of the spray was terrible. There were people also doing busking. I could see also a funny person wearing a transparent mask, so I took a picture. Oh my god, he asked me to pay. The photo Romano means the Roman Square. It was buried in the soil for centuries and excavated after the 19th century. But it was buried in the soil for so long, the damage to the relief of the building was intense. As long as it is historically worthwhile, I could see the spread of Lumas who trashed even a small stone. There was a statue. Oh, it's moving. It has been the heart of the Roman Empire for about 1000 years. And once it was a great and majestic building. It is now almost ruined. But there are still a lot of old traces left. And I was able to see the images of those days through the remains. I can see the Venetian palace. I also can see familiar sculptures.
It's Vittorio Emanuele to Monument. It is also called a Time Rider building because the shape of the building looks like a Time Rider. Finally, it's Venetia Square. The Venetia Square is located the heart of Rome, also known as the Belly of Rome. The Venetian Palace is famous for being used as the office of dictator Mussolini during World War II. The Vittorio Emanuele II monument was built in 1911 to honor Vittorio Emanuele II, the first king of unified Italy. It's a tram. Let's find out about the Roman proverb on the way to the Pantheon. Proverbs chapter 1, if you go to Rome, follow the Roman law. Proverbs chapter 2, all roads will lead to Rome. Pantheon is made by combining pan, meaning all in Greek, and theon, meaning God. It was a 2000 year old building, and it was a temple dedicated to all the gods of Rome, who were polytheists. The floor of the inside was good, of course, but the ceiling was very nice. It's the oldest remaining giant dome building. There is an obelisk in front of the Pantheon. The Trevi Fountain is the largest fountain in Rome. There is a tradition of believing that if you throw a coin in this fountain, you will make a wish or then you will come back to Rome someday. If you throw three coins in your right hand and over your left shoulder, there is also a story of good luck coming. It was offered that this place has the terrible smell of cigarettes. On the way back to the Colosseum station, I kept my eyes on a nice building. It was a short time, but the attractions such as the Colosseum, the Venetia Square, the Pantheon, and the Trade Fountain was close by. So I was able to set you a lot on foot. Now take the subway to Terminal Station, search for Fiumicino Airport with an automatic dispenser, and issue the ticket. Then return to the airport and you will end up traveling for 8 hours via Italy.